It's time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. I have a wonderful, exciting guest. I am so excited because we're going to be speaking on life's first food. And I don't know why so many people sometimes have problems with it because it's actually life's first food. And how better to heal and stay healthy and anti-aging. So many people ask me, oh my goodness, you're not aging. A grandmother of nine and you're not aging. Well, this is part of it, I'm telling you. Um, so I am so happy and, and keep in mind, this is kind of your miracle journey to staying healthy. And if you have a health challenge, this will help address it. It is a wonderful life's first food product and it's wonderful. So I want to introduce my guest. I'm gonna let him tell a little about himself because things have been really kind of moving so fast here with this wonderful uh, product I've been working with for years, but I have a new version that's working wonderful. I had to share my own testimony. So we call him Dr. Anthony K. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Hey, thank you very much, Dr. Lee. It is an honor and a privilege. Thank you. So why don't you tell uh, our guests a little about yourself? I know you're um, a nutritional, deal with nutritional science and the president of Colostrum 6 and the author and uh, speaker as well. But um, let's tell people a little bit about yourself. And we well, I, I'm a little bit unique in the fact that I've been dealing with colostrum for 27 years, and that's the professional side. But before that, uh, I was dealing with colostrum from the farm level. I grew up as a, as a farm boy, and uh, I started my very first business when I was around eight years old by buying my very first dairy calf. Uh, it was a little bull calf from the, from the big dairy farmers up the road. We were little. We had seven cows morning and night. We had to, we had to milk by hand. So I learned to work very hard, but I also uh, learned that colostrum, first, uh, our first food, is phenomenal for not only we as human beings, but for those baby calves. You see, with baby calves, they have to get at least two quarts. Why? Uh, without that, they're literally, with all the new research that's been released over the past 15 years, we know now that without at least two, uh, at least two quarts in that baby calf, there's an 85% sickness or mortality rate. And uh, what I started out with is buying my very first bull calf. Now, don't kill the messenger for the message. I don't own the farms. Okay. <laughs> but when I bought my very first bull calf, you see, I'm 53. Way back when, when I was eight, bull calves on a dairy farm were kind of looked at as, well, if they make it, great. They go to auction. If they don't, kind of, oh, well. Now, today it's very, very different. Today it's a very different situation. Uh, there's nutritional programs in place, literally maternity wards, just like in a hospital for human beings. Yes. It's a very different opportunity. But when I bought my very first day, uh, day old bull calf, he was a day old. And a calf has just a certain window in which to get all the goodies, immune factors and growth factors and essential factors and vitamins and minerals, all those different things that are found in colostrum. Uh, in a very short window. And if they don't, you literally can watch them wilt like a flower that's not had water or sunlight. They literally just kind of melt into oblivion. Well, when I bought my very first calf, my dad grew up in a very large farm in Murdo, South Dakota, and he came up with this concoction. It was first milk, which today we know was colostrum. Yes. Back then we didn't know. Um, two shots of whiskey, <laughs> uh, as well as two eggs. And if you think about all those different combinations of things, it literally gives that calf a boost enough to where I raised it, uh, sold them at auction about a year and a half later. And my very first business was born because I, I sold them for $1,800. And from there, I'm not an unintelligent uh, person. I started buying more calves and selling them at auction. We'll jump a few years ahead. I was the research and marketing director for an anti-aging clinic dealing with injectable synthetically created HGH, which is comprised of just two growth hormone and IGF-1 
But we, you and I are made up and everybody else out there is made up of 87 plus different natural growth factors. Yes. Well, I got very excited, went back to the doctors because I had been commissioned to write a book on HGH. I got very excited because we had so many people that were just not able to afford the injections of HGH and we were turning them away. I go back to the doctors and they said, listen, we know about the growth factors in colostrum. Yes. Um, we don't want you doing uh, that. And now we are going to take it to the next level. If you get involved in colostrum, we are going to, we are going to kind of terminate your employment here. Well, what I did was I started out buying different colostrums from all over the world Mm -hmm. taking samples and sending them in to a gentleman by the name of Dr. Donald Lyon, who at the time was the head uh, and chairperson for the endocrinology lab and the veterinary diagnostics lab at Cornell University. He's since retired, but he started, he started receiving all these different uh, uh, samples. I finally get a call from him saying, number one, who are you? Number two, why are you sending me these samples? And number three, what is your end? Mm -hmm. Well, I introduced myself. My name is Anthony Klein Smith. I'm looking for the very best one to start with. And my end game is let's make it better. And then let's take it to the human side, because with over 150,000 research articles uh, that can be found in the NIH database and in PubMed.gov and now Google, I, I am beginning to love Google because they did something for people like me and you. They put together and they went out and mined all the different databases and put it on Google, scholar.google.com. Uh, scholar yes, I love Google Scholar. Oh, and, and if you type in things like cancer or heart disease and colostrum, you'll find literally thousands of different research articles. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and it's fun for me because I've been talking about colostrum for a very, very long time. And the differences that make up what true colostrum is versus, say, transitional milk. But I've also been talking about how wonderful it can be for so many different health opportunities that we're all looking for and more and more growing every day. Most definitely. Most definitely. And we're going to touch on some of those as well. And I have some wonderful testimonies as it relates to col colostrum and doing lab testing before and after. And it just has saved so many people's lives. I am so happy there are people out there like you that are concerned that we have the proper, and, and not so much the proper, but I tell everyone, colostrums, like anything else, they're not, not all created equal. And Correct. that's what people need to know, because they'll say, well, you know, I could pick it up at, I won't name the stores, but I can go pick it up here, and I can pick it up there, uh, to just let you know they're not all created equal. And I, I want you to sort of kind of go over that again, why the first six hours is so important, because I really want people to hear this, because that's what makes yours different for so many others on the market. Oh, very much so. Now, yes. let's, let's even back up a little bit further. Let's compare human colostrum or what they call colostrogenesis, the production of colostrum, mm -hmm. versus bovine colostrogenesis. Let's start with, with human moms first, okay? Okay. When a human mom is pregnant, um, before we as a fetus ever see the light of day or ever take our very first breath, we get a lot of the goodies, the immune factors, the growth factors, the building blocks, the essential factors. We get what we call passive transfer through the placenta. So before we ever see the light of day, we're pretty functional. Now, we know that colostrum has an impact on 40 different processes for the newborn. But we also know that colostrum can have an impact for people who are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond. Yes. Now. When you look at a human mother, they produce colostrum and milk in the same place, in the mammary gland. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But because of that passive transfer, there are essentially two systems. One is the gastrointestinal and one is the respiratory that may take a little bit extra. Okay. Okay. A little extra time, a little extra uh, nutrients from the colostrum to help get those two systems jump started. Now, because of that passive transfer, that's the human side. And entirely, all of your uh, growth factors, your immune factors, all 87 natural growth factors are found there. Over 100 plus different immune factors are found there. Your essential factors, your, 
your metabolics and your basics, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, protease inhibitors, all of those things are found within that substance. Now that's a human mother. Let's take a look at the bovine moms though. Okay. Bovine mother produces colostrum one time, not like a human mother. A human mother can actually produce it over and over again. Yes. But a bovine mother produces it one time, three to four weeks prior to birth in the body, not the mammary gland. And that's where a lot of folks out there who are quote unquote marketers of different substances like supposedly colostrum, what they do is they look at this and say, well, all colostrum is the same, right? Well, no, absolutely wrong. Number one, it's produced within the body. Once that birthing process begins, that bovine mom will release that colostrum from the body into the mammary gland. It's only there for a very short window of time, six, and I'll be generous and say maybe eight hours. And even by the 12th hour, 50% of whatever colostrum was there has been diluted by milk. And if you go out 72 hours, you're buying it off the shelf and it is called milk. Now, mm -hmm. why is that so different? Because a baby calf doesn't get any passive transfer. If that baby calf doesn't get at least two quarts, we know that there is an 85% sickness or mortality rate. There is no passive transfer. So that substance from a bovine, although it is 99.9999 identical to what a human mother can produce, what is that 1% one, 1 difference? It's in its potency. Because there is no transfer through the placenta, it can be anywhere from 100 to as much as a thousand times more potent in its different constituents as long as it's left intact. And that's where a lot of the uh, competitors out there sort of fumble around because I ask this question all the time. What are the six major components that make up colostrum? And I have so many of these folks and I talk to them because they, they call me and say, well, who are you? Mm -hmm. Or, Hey, I think we're just as good. I said, great. Tell me the six components that make up colostrum. And then they kind of go, well, um, uh, well, there's colostrum. Uh, and then there's maybe some, uh, IGs. I says, no, let's go back to basics. 101 from the fundamentals of dairy chemistry. Yes. You have fat, casein, albumin, lactose, protein, and ash. Those are the major six components, and within those components are then found the diamond that makes up colostrum. Now, a lot of the, a lot of the competitors out there, they'll do this. They'll manipulate the protein so they have high Ig, and they standardize it for that and say, see, that we've made it better. No, mm -hmm. within colostrum, there are 700 different components that make up this substance. And as long as you leave it intact and you take it at the right time frame, you have all of your natural, and I say natural whole food growth factors. Okay. You have over a hundred different, hundred plus different immune factors, cytokines, leukocytes, uh, macrophages. One really big one that is, a, is having a tremendous amount of research, proline rich polypeptides. Yes. Then you have on one, on one side or one corner, I like to draw a diamond when I'm talking about it, because on one corner, you then have the essential factors, things that our bodies do not produce. You have to get them from the outside in. And as you know, our nutritional values of foods just aren't there anymore. No, they're, it, no, they're we're not. Even with, even with our fruits and veggies, they're almost becoming fast food. Yes, yes. Okay. So things like essential fatty acids, essential amino acids, essential glyconutrients, these are relatively new. They literally tell our cells what, when, where, why, and how to do something. Then on, on the last corner, what I like to call the metabolic factors and the basics, vitamins, minerals, protease inhibitors, trypsin inhibitors, all these wonderful goodies are found as long as you leave it intact. Now, how do some of my competitors remove it or, or standardize it? They remove the fat. Now, the research on the fat within colostrum is absolutely phenomenal. Yes. As long as you leave the fat in, that's where most of your fat-soluble vitamins, minerals, enzymes are. But also, if you remove the fat, minimum 50% of those natural growth factors just walked out the door. Yes, they so did. Take away the marketing mumbo-jumbo and look at the true research. And it says, as long as you leave it intact... You're going to get all of the, all of the goodies 
the, the 700 plus natural cofactors that are there to keep the body in a balanced state. And you can feel it when you take it. This is why uh, the outcome that I've received when people are taking it now is so different from what I had years ago. Um, well, not that many, not that long ago, but it's totally different now. And the, the patients are even are saying to me and with their feedback on how much better they're feeling. Um, uh, even with uh, leaky gut syndrome and uh, a little gastritis, um, they're feeling better quicker. Um, because we know, I've worked with several people with it where they have, one person, just a quick, um, quick, quick story, he was actually hospitalized for colon cancer. I had him on the colostrum and some other things too, but mainly he was taking high doses of a colostrum. Um, when he went in for surgery, he thought they were going to have to remove his entire colon, but they really only removed a small section of the colon, um, seven or so lymph nodes, and they were all negative. But he ended up with something else going on, so um, pancreatitis. And because uh, I went to the hospital that night, because he's supposed to have been discharged the next morning, I went to the hospital about 6 o'clock in the evening and put him on the colostrum. He was on a regular diet, and we know this is food, so it wasn't no, any contraindications with anything he was doing because he was on a regular diet. Gave him so many colostrums and water, and when they repeated his, his uh, markers for the pancreatitis, he was just about negative for the enzyme causing his inf inflammation in his body. We know that uh, with inflammation, the colostrum is just amazing what it does in the body for inflammatory process, which everything is basically leaked to that, linked. So I just want to say that I've seen some incredible things with, a, I have a list of patients how things turned around very fast within 12 hours. Um, basically, you feel the effects sometime even sooner. So I just want to, you know, thank you for, you know, what you're doing and how, you know, you, you really stayed with this. You could have taken the money and been over there with the anti-aging people with the HGH. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, you, you know, it, it is fun watching people change. Yes. It is, it is very, very rewarding when somebody is going through some kind of situation, a health challenge, and all of a sudden you're able to put back into that depleted body different building blocks that not only take them from being in a challenge state, but being into a modulated normalcy. And then they take a step up uh, even above that and say, you know what? I have energy like I haven't had before. I have focus like I haven't had before. Yes, yes. I have just all these wonderful opportunities now opening up for me that allow me to go out and live life again. And that, that is, that is fun. That is incredible. Cause one of your products, uh, <clears throat> it's just amazing. Cause you just put it in water and drink it. And I'm telling you, you, I'm not a really a coffee drinker, um, for many reasons, but with this here, you have so much energy. You feel great in a short period of time. And it's just, you want to have this feeling of wellness and well-being. And yes. that's what works well. If you don't have a problem, you're going to feel it. If you have a problem, you're going to be uplifted. You're going to definitely feel the difference. And what it's doing for, like you said, focus, the immune system, especially the leaky gut, which leads into so many things. And now, as you know, they, they call um, Alzheimer, or Alzheimer um, the uh, diabetes type 3. So right. you want to really get into what we can do to start healing the body. If you don't have any problems, I tell people take one or two at night before going to bed because, you know, my taking it late at night, it works well because the liver is doing its job because you're sleeping and the body is going through a nice re repair um, phase during that time while you're sleeping. So I like to take it also at night. But if you have something going on, you could take a little bit more. Um, but, you know, you can always ask and you can call my office and ask us at uh, New Wellness Healthcare or uh, there's a lot of practitioners who and doctors who are involved with the product. But I am just elated at what I see when I do blood work before and after a person on the product. And it's not it isn't just what I see physically in the person and what they feel. But actually, at a cellular level, what's happening with them and watching them heal. So I am just excited. I want to ask you a little bit, how does this affect uh, people with diabetes? Lots of research uh, when you're looking at uh, colostrum. Let's pick on one 
little substance. Uh, I, I call it the captain of the ship because if you if you look at this one tiny little uh, uh, component, it literally can have an impact on every cell and every system in your body. Okay, and and what's what's fun about this is it literally can have an impact on whether you're aging, which we all know we we're all getting older, right? You look wonderful. I feel great. I I. I it's amazing. And I, I just want to slightly change the subject since you said that because I had eczema or eczema really, really bad as a child. They wanted to amputate my legs. A lot of people know the story. Mm -hmm. But um, I had an incident where I was bit by something a um, few months back and my, my skin broke out really, really bad. It was the colostrum that cleared it up. I mean, in a couple of days, my skin has never been this soft, never in my entire life until I went on the colostrum. <laughs> It is soft, and I'm just, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, there, there's a particular, see, for you and I as adults, the, the, the most uh, or the largest antibody that we have floating around doing its job, okay, is called IgG, yes. the globulin G. Mm -hmm. And they're naturally occurring within colostrum. However, if you, if you reverse the ages just a little bit, if you look at a baby, the largest uh, immunoglobulin that's floating around in their system is IgA and it is a phenomenal opportunity for helping to support mucosal surfaces and and the skin well that's because the mucosal surface in the respiratory and in the gut are the two systems that they you know as a newborn you may still need some help to get to the point where you're in a balanced state mm -hmm. well think about you and I now okay we have very low amounts of IgA very high amounts of IgG well, when you start putting back into that depleted body, things like IgA and, and epithelial growth factor and some of the other things that are found within true colostrum, boy, does, does our largest organ, skin, ha make an impact because you start to notice that things start looking younger. Yes. Now, the captain of the ship, IGF-1, and diabetes or whether it be heart issues or whatever the case may be, IGF-1 is a hormone-like protein which can impact literally every system found within the body. The liver produces IGF-1. It stimulates systemic body regeneration. As a matter of fact, it's been considered more anabolic than steroids for those people who are out there lifting and getting mm -hmm. bigger. As a matter of fact, I helped uh, Reverend Ron Williams come out of retirement uh, he retired when he was 40. He came to me when he was 46. By the time he went on to the international competitions, all natural, he went on at age 47 to win Mr. Natural Universe because of the colostrum. He got bigger during his bulk phase. My. He got bigger during his cut phase. He says, your, your products are amazing in the way that they work on, especially somebody at his age, 47, in putting him back into a youthful state. But when you, when you look at the systemic uh, uh, body regeneration and the growth promoting aspects on the body that IGF-1 has, whether it be skeletal, muscle, cartilage, bone, liver, kidneys, nerves, skin, stem cells, lungs, DNA and RNA, it just, the list goes on and on. So now you have benefits for anti-aging. Now we're all getting older, right? Yes, we are. I don't mind getting older, but I want to do it with youth. Yes. Okay? I don't mind being 100 years old as long as I can still go out and live life. I do. 100. 100? That's your goal? Mm -hmm. I'm going right. to look just like this. It's like my grandfather lived to be 100. There you go. Yes. See, and, and I, on the, on, the, on, the, on the female side of my family, we have longevity genes. My granny, uh, when she passed, was 99. My aunt was 100. My mama was 108, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, but, but we, on the male side of things, I worry. Why? I have first cousins that started having heart attacks at age 29. Oh my. my, my dad had his first five bypass at age 43 and multiples until his heart went at age 72. Very young. Yes. Well, yes. when you look at the research behind IGF one, it, it supports healthy blood sugar levels. It helps to maintain heart health. That's the number one killer out there is heart disease. Yes, it is. 
promotes healthy digestive function, which as you know, the, the issues with the digestive side of things is linked to almost every single disease. Everything. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it supports the immune system to maintain an optimal state of health. So we're able to not only be both offensive and defensive in all the bugs that are maybe inside or outside trying to get in. Exactly. So, you know, what all this has been stated, um, the colostrum and the colostrum six. So I, I want to always say that when I say colostrum. So no one is confused about just colostrum. If you came in the middle of the show, we're speaking about colostrum six, which is a big difference. Um, any conditions or really starting this at infants because i have uh, my grandchildren i have nine uh, went on this uh, a lot of the colostrum well the last few i didn't know about it as heavy as i do 21 years ago is my oldest granddaughter but they were taking the colostrum um, <clears throat> so what do you recommend i know we can start taking this infants i actually put it in their mouth on their tongue for all kind of conditions and they did really well um, what is your recommendation for uh, children? Now, that here's an interesting one, right? It's our first food. It is designed for all mammals, including human beings from birth on. Yes. Okay? And with, with all three of my kids, I'll, I'll put it in this fashion. All three of my kids were on colostrum prior to birth. Mm, okay. So that sounds kind of interesting. People go, well, how do they get it before they're born? Easy. Mom ate it. Mom took colostrum while she was pregnant. And all three of my kids came out and, and she breastfed, mm -hmm. but I would get up in the middle of the night and I would bottle feed them when I bottle fed them uh, because a human mother will produce colostrum over and over again for just a few days. Yeah. But with all the benefits that colostrum can bring to even to that tiny little body, I would take a capsule, pull it apart, roll the, the, the two ends together on top of their bottle, shake it up vigorously and down the hatch it went. Okay. Three of my kids, they don't get sick. We're out playing in the winter, kind of a, a little different, especially for where I live, where you get a lot of snow, lots of cold. And we're out playing in shorts and T-shirts. And, you know, I always have to yell at my kids, hey, go, put some clothes on. It's cold outside. Right. Uh -huh. Don't get sick. Mm -hmm. Well, they started it from literally from before they were born. And my kids, uh, my youngest is 17. Uh, my middle is, uh, tw uh, will soon be 20. And my, my oldest uh, is 24. All of them, and they're still on colostrum. Okay. As, as far as I know, I'm the longest uh, rolling person out there with colostrum, and the most the most abundant in consumption. My personal story, kind of like yours, I went through a lot of uh, knee issues. Right. Uh, when I was 28 years old, I used to be an extreme skier. Uh, I took a 20 foot cliff and folded my knee. And if you want a visual, take the top of your foot and put it on your shoulder. Well, oh as I was bouncing off the boulders going down the mountain, I could hear people screaming. And I remember thinking to myself, I've taken worse tumbles than this. And I'd taken that same jump three times, you know, prior to this last run of the day. Well, I kind of shuck it off and thought, well, I, I just sprained it, right? Knowing in the back of my head, no, I did something different. When I knew that I had done something really bad is when I got into my car. You know how you kind of you slide in and then pull your legs around? Yes. The bottom half of my left leg didn't follow me. And oh what goodness. was fascinating about that for me is I, because of the ties that my family has to some folks uh, at major universities, we called them up and said, Hey, I think I've done something in my knee. He came in and he's the doctor for a, a very large uh, football program here in the state of Utah. Took a look at my knee and said, wow, you have just shredded everything. Now, when they did the very first surgery, the drill was off by just a tad. And when they put the cadaver graft in, it liquefied the bone. So I had to have three and a half inches of bone in a series of operations. Uh, I had to have three and a half inches of bone chipped off my hip, put into that knee, cadaver oh, graft, my goodness. hamstrings, just all kinds of things to get me to where I am. And what's fascinating about it, when I, when I wrote my very first book and published it in 1998, uh, there was a tiny little article in the American Chiropractic Journal that said, we think that some of the growth factors may have an impact on soft tissue. So I started mega dosing. I, I really, when I say mega dosing, I was taking a, a half a kilo to a kilo a day. Oh my God. That's goodness. a lot. That's a of lot of, yes. 
didn't have to eat. Uh, it definitely <laughs> filled me up. I'm sure it did. <laughs> but I noticed some very significant body structure changes. One was the knee. I do everything that I want to do. I can ski. I can run. I can ride bikes. I can do everything that, that a matter of fact, I can do a lot of things that even younger kids look at me and say, I try that. Well, welcome to having a very solid, stable knee now. And I, and I absolutely attribute that to the colostrum, but it also changed my body structure. I'm only five foot seven person. I'm not very tall, but I have very, very heavy, very dense musculature, not to the point where it's, you know, working out, but when people look at me and I stand up in a crowd and I say, okay, let's, let's do some guessing because some of the things that are in colostrum like leptin and, and the IGF one definitely has an impact will help people maybe even lose Oh, weight. yes. I have people call me and said, you know, I'm losing weight. Not the ones that don't need to lose weight. They don't really lose. But the ones who want to lose, they are losing. Yes. Like myself. Because just a little tipping point and colostrum's different cofactors start to balance that body and your body starts to respond. Well, when I get up in front of folks, now I'm gonna, about to tell my secret here, but when I get up in front of folks, I will always ask people, you know, would it bother you if you were on our weight loss program and you gained a couple of pounds, raise your hands. Everybody in the room, you know, will raise their hands going, oh gosh, no, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Then I pull out five pounds of fat and five pounds of muscle. This yes. is what they look like. Mm -hmm. Five pounds of fat is nine inches in diameter, 18 inches long, and takes up a lot of room. Yes, then I pull does. out five pounds of muscle and I say, what's the difference? And I put it in people's hands and I say, weigh them. They go, wait a minute, this, this feels the exact same. You're right. That same five pounds of muscle is three inches in diameter, six inches long. Then, then I ask that same question. What would you rather have around the middle, the thighs, the buttocks, <laughs> all those areas where we know Most we definitely. want to get a little skinnier. Yes. And then they go, oh, pick me. I'll put on the two pounds. Well, that's underlying lean muscle. Well, the more of that you have, the higher your metabolism will run, the more calories you will burn. And I love this part. It is one of the cofactors that says how fast you are aging uh, chronologically versus biologically. You see, we start losing that muscle mass at around 33 years of age. Mm -hmm. And it progressively gets worse. Well, with my body, I have high amounts of that underlying lean muscle. So when people, I stand up on stage and say, okay, now you kind of have an idea of what five pounds feels like. Take a guess. I will be put someplace between 160 and maybe pushing it to 185. And when I tell them, I clock in at 210. And people look at me and say, really? You do not look like that. Well, that's that underlying lean muscle. And the more lean muscle mass you have, the younger your body will respond. Most definitely. I want to say we need to take a break here. Um, also, um, before we get, we're going to be wrapping up with you in just a moment because we have our segment coming up with Dining Out Healthy with Dr. Leah Marie. So I want to say that for those who are listening to the show, I want to say it now and not at the very end. Um, you, uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to let the doctor give you an 800 number to call because with the 800 number you will call and mention that you heard about this colostrum on Dr. New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee or just say Dr. Lee's show um, and you will get a wonderful wonderful package deal set up for you so I want you to call Dr. could you please give them the 800 number? Absolutely it's 888-617-8733 and absolutely make sure that you say I heard this on the Dr. Lee show Thank you. Thank you. Our new wellness health care. New wellness TV with Dr. Lee. <laughs> I have new wellness on everything. So we're branding new wellness. So can you get that number one more time? Sure. 888-617-8733. Make sure that you mention new wellness and Dr. Lee. Okay. And if you have any further questions, you can call us at, at um, Nutrimed Integrated at New Wellness Healthcare. And the number is 310-419-4300. Again, 310-419-4300. And now we're going to actually kind of move on to the next segment. You know, Dr. K, um, 
I'm going to be bringing you back because there were so many other things I wanted to touch on as it related to colostrum six. So um, I'm going to be bringing you back. But right now we need to bring on my co-host for our segment on dining out healthy. Um, so you can stay with us there for end it for a minute. But I want to thank you right now for being here with us today. Thank you so much, Dr. Anthony, Dr. Dr. K. I like to say Dr. K. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So thank you for joining us for our second half here. Not so much second half. We're going to be wrapping up soon. But thank you so much, Marie, for our wonderful outing that we had uh, this past weekend. Uh, wonderful, wonderful food. It was just delicious. So I'm going to let Marie t- let you tell everyone about our dining out healthy. Good morning. Thank you. Yes, we went to your neighborhood. Yes, you did. This was her <laughs> choice for this week. Um, tasting and um, I was actually blessed to be able to go there on Easter Sunday so when she told me we we're going there, I was really really excited we went to Jay Nichols kitchen in Marina Del Rey on Maxwell Drive and um, it's kind of a um, upscale diner I'm gonna say upscale diner it's privately mm-hmm. owned a family owned restaurant um, and they have wonderful delicious foods and everything is made of course from scratch and um, I kind of just let Dr. Lee go with this one on this adventure because she had been there before and there were some several things she wanted me to try and um, it was delicious. We had the um, avocado. Oh my gosh, Ooh, that avocado that was stuffed mm. with a delicious egg salad, and it had caramelized onions on top. And that is definitely a meal in itself. Yes, it is definitely, or something to share with someone. Um, it was deliciously well well made. We also had the beautiful uh, grilled salmon with rainbow carrots and a beautiful kale salad that she requested um, that sauteed with some cherry tomatoes and then right here is the red beets oh my gosh that was yummy. that was so delicious they are oh ro- my slow roasted and they are on a bed of feta and they were drizzled with a little bit of virgin olive oil and arugula salad on top and I must say that was you me. know I didn't eat all that food no I know <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, but I was full just about from the avocado and the salad yes you know yes. you're real and I, I, I have a hearty appetite Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> we so do. For me We're, to say this, so it was very filling. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yes, we we do. We do enjoy our food. We actually ate, actually had a little sampler at the end. We mm-hmm. were um, privileged to. We always like to try one little dessert. Um, they made a beautiful key lime pie. I look like a key lime cake, really. And it was very, it was not overly sweet, and it had a delicious graham cracker crust. And um, and cashews, I think it had cashews. cashew crust. Yeah, yes. it was wonderful with the cashew crust. Very, very good. So the fun mm-hmm. part about it is, you know, in your even your own neighborhood, you know, she was crunched for time, and we picked this place, and we were hosted and taken care of and I just enjoyed it so much and we kind of went off a little bit off our trek but it was delicious all the same and I would definitely highly recommend going there for breakfast lunch or dinner anytime they're opened until 11 o'clock at night so you know give us a shout out if there's a restaurant or if you know of one um, that you would love for us to highlight one that has you know really good clean food and um, you know something about the preparation of the food as far as cooking utensils and those things which are very very important so if you have a restaurant you like us to highlight one that you frequent a lot please you know by all means give us a call at 310-419-4300 thank you yes you can put on the message too when we're live so just put it on there hey check this out we please, look at it all please. the time people have done that you know yes it's been wonderful and they're not even in california where we are so yeah. that's fine too we could still work with you even though you're not here especially if there's a chain like this one was not a chain so when you're traveling here um check out this restaurant you will love the food it's very good yes mm-hmm. indeed well, i'm looking forward to our next adventure <laughs> yes we have another one we have one weekly so yeah uh, but again uh, we've had so many so listen to our previous shows and even this show here please share this with your friends and family um via facebook uh it will be on youtube you could just go to our youtube channel uh, new wellness tv with dr cheryl and lee or new wellness tv with dr lee.com to our youtube channel so please um check out the show and and share the show with your friends and family uh, we have so many previous shows that are really there for 
uh, for your information and my goal for being here is to be able to dis- disseminate information so that we can have the most healthiest, the healthiest life we possibly can. Because if we don't share information, each one teach one, then where are we going in this planet? So we have to love each other. And I am passionate about health and about your well-being. So please do not hesitate to call me at 310-419-4300. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I think I really am grateful for my guests for being with me today as well, Dr. K. Uh, just amazing with the colostrum six. So please um, check it out. Check out the product. And for your discount, just please call the 800 number that was given earlier uh, so that you can get a wonderful package deal for yourself. Just mention that you heard about colostrum six on New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. And my host over here, Marie, Dining Out Healthy. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. And as I always say, and I don't have on my little badge today. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I want you to repeat after me. I am. I am. So grateful. So grateful. That I am. That I am. A magnet. A magnet. For miracles. For miracles. And each one, try to embrace each other with love and forgive if you want to heal and look good, I mean, my looking good has not a lot to do with me, what I'm putting in my body, but it's my thinking, my attitude. So please forgive people, love people, give them a hug, heart to heart. Everybody know that I do that. You're going to hug a person heart to heart where the heart goes, the love goes. So keep in mind to take care of each other, love each other, stay happy so you can have the best quality of life. God bless you until we see you again. Join us every Wednesday live at 11 a.m. for a new Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Remember, healthy mind, healthy body.